Hi, everybody. Today we're working on lesson 11. I can model division as the unknown factor in multiplication using arrays and something that we're going to learn about today, which are tape diagrams. All right, go ahead and pause your screen and practice skip counting by twos. Go ahead and pause your screen and practice skip counting by fours. All right, fill in the table below. So we're gonna use some skip counting here to help us. So three times five. So that means we need five threes, three, six, nine, 12. 15, and that gives us our answer, 15. So let's try three times four. Three, six, nine, 12. So that means that my answer is 12. All right, two times nine. So I'm gonna skip count with my twos there. So. Two, I gotta go nine times. Four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Let me double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's nine. So that means that my answer over here is going to be 18. Three times seven, so I've got to do three, seven times. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. And that means I landed on 21. And last but not least, two times eight. So let's get count by two is eight times. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two times eight makes 16. All right, Rosie puts two lemon slices in each cup of iced tea. She uses a total of eight slices. How many cups of iced tea does Rosie make? So start with the drawing. So I know that, oops. Sorry about that technical difficulty. Um, I'm going to start with a drawing. So I know that she puts two lemon slices. Those will be my little lemon wedges into each iced tea. And she uses a total of eight. So I'm going to put two in each glass until I get to eight lemons. So two, four, six. All right, so let's think about what kind of problem I just did here. So I knew there were a total of eight slices and I knew that I had to put two in each cup. So how many cups did I need? One, two, three, four. So eight divided by two equals four. Okay, now we're gonna look at something called a tape diagram, which Mrs. Thorsby loves tape diagrams. They are really helpful in division. They're also really helpful in multiplication. So let's look at the example that is drawn for us. Draw a tape diagram to model the equation below, and they've done it for us. So eight is my total number of circles, okay? Divided by two equals four. So what they did is they said, okay, you got eight total, you have to put two in each group until you run out. And how many groups do you have? Four, okay? So I can model division as the unknown factor in multiplication using arrays and tape diagrams. 
All right, let's look at, let's try another one. Now we're gonna draw it, okay? Or I'm gonna draw it. So draw a tape diagram to model the equation below. So let's, I like to think of this like an object. So if I have 10 pencils and I give two pencils to each kid, how many kids will I give pencils to before I run out? So this isn't gonna be the most beautiful tape diagram because of my uh, computer pencil here, but we'll try. Okay, so I give two pencils to this student and I have 10 to give away. I give two to this student. I give two to this student. I give two to this student. Let's see how many I've given away. Two, four, six, eight. I got two more to give away. 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So the question is, well now, how many students got pencils? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, now this question is a little bit different. Miss Alves puts 21 papers into 7 piles. How many papers are in each pile? So in this question, we already know how many groups there are, right? There are um, seven groups. I'm gonna try to use this. Ooh, look at me learning how to use tools on the computer. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, that's not bad, right? All right, so. <clears throat> She has 21 papers that she has to share between these seven piles. So I'm gonna use the fair share strategy, right? So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, so that means that 21 divided by seven, if I have 21 papers and I divide them into seven piles, I will have three papers in each pile. All right, let's try it with a different number. So Miss Alves put 16 papers into two separate piles. So let's think about what do we know? We know that there are two piles. So one, two, there are two piles. And there are 16 papers. So I'm gonna fair share the 16 papers between these two groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So let's make sure these each have the same amount. 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Yes, they do. That means we did something right. So our equation would be 16 divided by 2 equals 8. Okay, it's your turn to try. Do your best on the problem set. Good luck.